Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Babolat Pure Drive 98, a highly anticipated frame for 2023. It's the successor to the VS. However, just understand that I did not play with the VS ever after seeing so many negative reviews on it. I decided to skip it. So this review is coming from a person who did not play with the last generation VS. Uh, and just keep that in mind because I'm going to have a completely fresh perspective on this racket. The racket was strung with Selenko Confidential 1.25 at 48 pounds. Stock, it comes in at 305 grams, the 98 square inch frame 16 by 19 string pattern let's go into the hitting and I'll explain how I felt about this racket so on ground strokes I noticed that it was uh, pretty muted actually I was surprised because what I've typically found with pure drives is I've had this pretty raw connected feeling uh, this is like somewhat muted it's, it's a clean muted thud feel uh, similar to like how the new pure drive is as well um, but from the baseline I had access to a, quite a bit of power I was had a lot of depth um, and just maybe a little bit more control than I would have had with the Pure Drive 100. Uh, the racket really liked to be accelerated through the air quickly. Uh, I didn't really notice any sort of instability while I was at the baseline, especially on incoming hard shots. I think that has to do with the racket being so stiff um, that it kind of just absorbs everything that you want and, and doesn't really like move the racket around all that much. A uh, very solid racket from the baseline here. It ne never was really uh, wanting any extra weight or anything like that. It just played pretty solid. Um, what I will say is that there were still a few shots that sprayed a bit on me that went just a little too deep. And I think that was happening mostly because I was decelerating and was trying to kind of guide the ball a little bit too much. I think this racket really requires a, a quite a quick swing, especially adding a lot of top spin because the racket does not give you that much spin. Uh, so if you really accelerate with a lot of spin and you let the racket handle the pace for you, uh, it'll do just fine. And uh, yeah, I actually kind of really enjoyed it from the baseline. I really liked it when I was swinging big because I felt like I could take uh, giant cuts of the ball and it was reacting pretty well. On the one-hander, it felt excellent. Uh, I think the, the Pure Drive in general, it, even the 100 version, feels pretty good on the one-hander. Um, but this especially so. Uh, so I'm, I'm guessing if you're a one-hander and you like the Pure Drive, you'll really like this one better. Um, but you'll see I did struggle a little bit with my touch shots and we'll get more into that when I hit a few volleys. Um, but this is definitely a racket for the aggressive baseliner. Um, if you like taking big cuts at it, if you like just destroying the ball and crushing it from the baseline, it's definitely for you. It's not for the handsy type of player, not the person that's liking to slice a lot, play drop shots and all these touch feel shots, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, overall, good impressions from back here. I was really excited from the baseline. I really liked the way it felt. Um, it is dead, it is muted, so if you're looking for that like real connected feel, this is just not going to be it for you, especially with Confidential in there. Uh, maybe with a different string setup, it's it's different. But here's when things started to go downhill. This is the volleys. Um, the volleys I had a lot of punch to, but I had way too much punch. And I just didn't have the control I was looking for on the volleys. Now, uh, I know like on these clips here, I'm hitting most of them in, um, but I had to cut out a ton, a ton of video. Uh, from this section here purely because I was having such a hard time controlling my volleys and not making them sail uh, So yeah, it was it wasn't very uh, a confidence inspiring and I like to play at the net I'm a doubles player by trade uh, and this was not very confidence inspiring. This did not feel very good uh, Especially on like the touch shots from the net. It just was horrible um, But on the overheads is this opposite story when I'm swinging the racket fast the thing behaves excellently. Um, lots of access to pop here. I think this is one of the uh, main benefits of this pure drive, or any pure drive, is just the huge amount of power you're gonna be getting on your flatter shots, uh, especially on your serve and your overhead uh, and big forehand stuff like that. So overheads really got me back on track with this thing. Really liked it from there, felt very connected, felt like I knew like uh, where I was gonna hit the ball. And when I say connected, I mean, I felt like I knew where I was hitting the ball. It still had that dead muted feel from there. Uh, serves were similar story to the overheads, a lot of access to free pace. I felt like I was a, a mini Andy Roddick over there serving, um, so that was excellent. I felt like I could target the ball very well in the flatter shots. Um, what was interesting though is actually I was hitting really, really big kick serves. Uh, the kick serves were flying off of this racket, and I think partially what's going on here is that since it is a 305 gram racket and I'm used to a, a heavier racket, I'm swinging a little bit quicker, but also because I'm focused on creating a lot of spin and not really consider like really focus on pushing the ball forward, uh, I'm creating all this top spin that I normally would, but the racket is stiff enough that it's pushing the ball forward, propelling it forward. So it's it's a combination of uh, of swinging quicker, but also all that spin is being used in a really efficient way because the racket's just propelling it forward, and I don't have to swing forward quite as hard. 
So even my practice partners <laughs> mentioned that, yeah, the kick serves were jumping really high. And, and that was really kind of surprising to me. I didn't think it was really adding that much spin, but I think if you can produce spin, the kick serve with this frame will be unbelievable. I'm not going to be making the switch to this one. A little bit hit or miss for me here because I liked it in a lot of areas of my game. Uh, I like the ground strokes. I like the overheads. I like the serves. I did not like the feel and I really didn't like the volleys. And I think just because of the volleys and, and the feel I could get used to, but, but the volleys being so erratic really killed this racket for me. I, I just could not play with it. And to be honest, I think they're selling this racket at like the 280s, 290s. I don't understand why this would exist at that price point when you can get a Dunlop FX500 Tour. In my opinion, when I play with that racket, it did everything that this racket did. Plus it had a better feel and uh, I felt a little bit more confident on volleys. And it comes in $199 new and Dunlop quality is unbelievable. For me, let's say if you're if you're a real big Babolat guy and you just love this paint job and, and you gotta have the pure drive, but you want the little bit more control, um, you can go with this but in my opinion uh i don't really see a reason to go with it when there's stuff like the fx 500 tour on the market dunlop's doing a fantastic job with that racket uh you could even go like ezo 98 i think this is maybe a little bit more powerful than the ezo 98 but i i don't really see a purpose for it i mean it's a nice play test it's fun if you're the babylon die hard go with it but otherwise i wouldn't pick this over an ezo 98 and i certainly wouldn't pick it over the dunlop fx 500 tour so but anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please remember to like comment and subscribe we are really close to 600 subscribers. We're well on our way to 1,000. You guys have been excellent recently, and I'm, I'm really enjoying all the positive comments and feedback that I've been getting from you guys. It's really been making me feel excellent. And I know uh, if you've watched some of my shorts, you've been seeing that I, I've been uh, going through a little bit of some rough times, feeling with some anxiety and not getting into tournaments and stuff like that. So you guys have really been making my day, and I really appreciate all the help that you've been giving me and all the advice and everything like that. But I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.